Hello to everyone out there. It is a Friday. Last day of January. Nice interesting article here from the Japan News. And it's about step cell discovery which is supposedly breaking through in the stem cell research which is going to lead to all kinds of uh, different transhumanism possibilities so we're going to read through a little bit of this article and uh, as you can see Japan is broke as a joke also as we already know the stimulus triggered acquisition of stem cells announced by a joint international research team from the Reichen Center for Development in Kobe and Harvard medical school in Boston have a high capacity for developing into various other cells that can be produced easily and quickly in just two days at the quickest. These unique features are unseen in other pluripotent cells such as embryonic stem cells and induced pluripoint cells and the world scientists are reacting with amazement at the finding which is overturning their accepted beliefs in biology Expectations are growing that these STAP cells can be applied in future medical treatments and development of new drugs, which would be a boom for Big Pharma. Yeah. As well as the entire profession of medicine that will delve into different regions concerning these cells. Deputy Director Riken did not hide his surprise at these results and it's the greatest finding in 25 years. The impact of this is astonishing. And then it goes on to describe that the animal cells are mostly divided into two groups, somatic and like skin and liver and germ cells for reproduction. And pluripotency is the ability to transform in, into cells of other types is a unique believed to be unique to germ cells. To artificially produce pluripotent cells from other cells, it is crucial to make cells as near to germ cells as possible. ES cells are harvested mainly, mainly from slightly developed embryos from fertilized eggs, destroying the embryos in the process, which is, I'm against that. <clears throat> In the creation of iPS cells, three to four types of genes are introduced into somatic cells using viral vectors to forcibly reset them, reverting the cells to a state resembling to that of a fertilized egg. So we're seeing genes introduced into something. So it's like we've touched base on in the past, genetic manipulation which the human race has undergone and I've explained this over and over in the past. Both methods, methods require advanced techniques. In making the step cells, somatic cells are reset by applying strong stimuli and this is transformation is known to occur in plants but uh, these researchers are showing that animal cells have the same ability uh, the doctor, the county at Harvard, co-authored the paper. I mean, believing a study proves the hypotheses that in injured or otherwise damaged tissues, mature cells revert to stem cells to repair damage. And while it takes two to three weeks to produce IPS cells, the stab cells can be produced in, in about two days at the quickest, I guess and they're considered to be in a more embryonic stage as they can be transformed into placental tissue a potential that ES cells and IPS cells don't have and it's a major discovery like, likely to change the framework of life science research pay attention to what they're saying and this is from the uh, Robert Lanza, the chief scientific officer at Advanced Cell Technology, which is a U.S. biotechnology company specializing in clinical application of pluripotent cells. It's going to be a big money maker for them. Watch, watch what's going to be said here in a minute. The stap cells are produced without destroying the egg. 
which is a subject of ethical concern. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they're real ethically concerned. In addition, snap cells are unlikely. They didn't say they wouldn't. They, now pay attention, they didn't say they wouldn't. They said they're unlikely to turn cancerous in the body. However, there's many unanswered questions involving the basic characteristics of these stap cells, such as why reprogramming of somatic cells into an embryonic-like state can be achieved through strong external stimuli, and what influence the stap cells will have on the body. Another question is related to proliferation. Unlike the AS and IPS cells, which have almost unlimited capacity for proliferation, stap cells rarely multiply. This research team has found a method to strengthen the STAPS capacity to proliferate by exposing them to a special culture solution. But the details uh, of its proliferation mechanism re are remaining a mystery. Then these latest findings will lead to clinical applications like those for IPS cells today if scientists around the world can solve some various mysteries by studying them real closely. And Professor Shinya Yamanaka of Kyoto University succeeded in the first production of IPS cells, uh, who he did, said it's very interesting research in which the researchers found mice blood cells acquire pleuropotency induced by strong external stimuli. It's a valuable finding to understand the reprogramming of mature cells into an embryonic state in terms of medical applications. The findings are viewed as a new method to produce IPS-like cells. If mature human cells would respond by displaying induced pleuropotency with this method, it should be should be compared to the existing methods from various perspectives. Riken has applied for patent. Riken and other organizations involved in the creation of STAP cells have applied for an international patent. The Yomiuri Shimbun learned to Thursday International competition is expected to intensify over intellectual property rights to apply the newly discovered technology in regenerative medicine. And I would ask all of you to do some work and reading and understanding of this term of and what that encompasses, regenerative medicine. The focus of attention will now be on how the patent is approved for the latest findings by an international research team. That includes Riken. Riken, Tokyo Women's Medical University, and Brigham and Women's Hospital, which is affiliated with Harvard University, began patent application procedures in April of 2012 and jointly applied in April last year. The application bears the names of seven people, including Riken research and leader. Haruko Obokata as invest inventors of stap cells. So, as the push continues into the world of transhumanism and <clears throat> how you can regenerate cells. Uh, you can think of different possibilities uh, when we're talking about you know things like that then we're going all the way into completely into uh, regeneration I mean they're figuring out ways of uh, extending the life and you know just going all the way into uh, the fountain of youth you know, the possibilities of all these uh, different ways that this can be pursued and uh, used for 
is is simply uh, it's simply going to be groundbreaking and astounding because when they, when we're talking regenerating tissues and stuff like that we we're already doing stuff like growing ears on mice and you know taking stem cells and, and uh, growing organs and junk like that you know so these guys are uh, you know the elitists and stuff. That's that's what they want. You know these little group of people that run the world and stuff. They they want to be able to live forever. You know they don't want to die because when you die, you have to face what you've done in this life. You have to take your hit. You have to take your punishment uh, or your reward for being a good person. You know there's a uh, you're meeting with your maker. <clears throat> you got a man up or a woman up for for everything. They want to avoid that. <clears throat> if you never die, you never have to meet him in their warped way of thinking. And then uh, there would be the little the little ant people like us down here that stuff like that won't be available to, and we'd be like their little their little servants that do all the dirty work while they live like kings and queens and princes and emperors and in uh, corporate moguls moguls um, so we know where this is you know actually going you know let's pretend like everything uh, went full-blown broke through they figured perfectly out how to do this technology and stuff do you think it would really be available to you and me uh, you know the little uh, ten thousand dollar to sixty thousand dollar a year person. Uh uh, no. Uh uh. No. So this will be an elite technology. You'll they'll there'll be incidences when they use it on people because they'll use that as a press release, a publication to make the technology look. Uh, like groundbreaking, like it's going to help us, but then they'll use it in isolated cases and stuff, which those cases will essentially be uh, people that are guinea pigs. You know, and remember in the article too, they, they haven't decided or found out or agreed upon that uh, once introduced into the system, uh, they're not sure whether it'll cause cancer or not, so hey, that's a that's a statement in and of itself. So they are doing it. They will proceed with it. It is one of their goals, and be aware of it. So I haven't looked on the JapanNews.com, but as you can see, this is the uh, the address of the article here. Uh, I searched it one time. I wanted to see what would happen. So I open up a different browser and, and I put the uh, uh, the, tar the target of the uh, title of the article here in, and it brought it up. It was kind of strange. It brought it up as the first one in the headline, you know, the top search. And uh, I went ahead and uh, closed that browser out. And then I was, this is actually I'm on Google while I'm fil filming this. And then I brought it back up again in the other browser, and then it didn't even show it in any of the search. You know, I went through like four or five, six pages, and and it still wouldn't show it. And then I put this title here, the address in, and searched for that, and it did page not found. So uh, I won't be actually putting a link. That's why I've left this. Uh, you know, I enlarged my page so that you can see up here what it is and search it for yourself because if I link this in uh, I'm not sure the link will work because it didn't work for me whenever I went back to search through this particular link here so I just wanted to put this article out there because it is going to affect uh, the future of all of us at some point in time so I hope everybody avoids any bad weather if you're in a location to where it's going to get crappy because uh, they're calling for some more crappiness. And I wish every one of you the best, and may God bless and keep all of you safe.